Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video we're going to react to American high schoolers trying British comfort food for the first time. Now this this is going to be funny because <laughs> like if you aren't from England and you know I was to put a slice of toast with beans on it you'd probably think what the hell is this? Like they're not two things that you would ordinarily put together unless you have grown up eating that. So, because I think that's where the comfort aspect comes from. You know, when you've eaten something for your whole life, whenever you see it, like the memories you associate with that thing kind of give you that comfort aspect, I suppose. But beans on toast is genuinely delicious. Today, we're going to be trying some British food. Oh, no. <laughs> We're not famous for our good food, but we have some staples that we're very fond of. Mm, what comes right to mind if we say British food? Like tea, okay. fish and chips, biscuits. If I'm being completely honest, like <laughs> beans and toast. Beans on toast. Have you tried beans yeah. on toast before? No. See like a lot of YouTubers that are British and then they eat beans on toast. Uh huh. But it does not look good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, oh, beans no. on toast is no. one of the most classic no. British dishes. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, no, Mexicans eat this yeah, too, though. Exactly, you can't <laughs> pass the fork. No, that's actually, that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, this is more beans than I would ordinarily have on toast. I would put like half. This is a lot. They've drowned that toast with the beans. No, like, why is this a thing? But... <laughs> it's definitely food. <laughs> you guys eat this like every day? Probably the most common sort nah, of go-to quick and easy meal. It's like an English salad. An English salad. That is not true. <laughs> yeah. All right. Give it a taste. And you're supposed to eat this with a fork and then... Oh, I need, I need yeah, more. always with a knife and fork. I, I, nah, I mean, what kind of psycho pick would pick that up with their hands? Yeah, pick it up. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's actually all right. It's actually okay. Is it good? No! <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting at first, but then when you start to like chew it more, uh -huh. it like slowly gets better, okay. but it's still disgusting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not my favorite dish. Okay. Not my favorite. It's not, ugh, it's not horrible. I just like beans. <laughs> <laughs> That's low-key good, actually. I, I was good. expecting it to like mix together, but that's actually good. But they're low-key sweet. It's not bad. Oh. Right. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah. It's actually quite good. Okay. It tastes way better than it looks. Okay. okay. It's not like top tier, but. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. it's like middle tier. Middle to bottom. Okay. Okay. Mid middle okay. to bottom. Yeah. Okay, I'll yeah. take that. I'll middle take that. When you first bottom. saw that, what was the first thing that went into your mind? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it doesn't look appetizing at all. Like, right. I thought it was gonna be like mad soggy, but it's actually yeah. like crunchy. The kind of beans it is are Heinz baked beans. Oh, it sounds like dog food. No. It <laughs> sounds like dog wow. food. Dog the average food. English palate is quite bland. But if you do want to add a little bit of flavor to it, spice up a little bit. HP <laughs> sauce. <laughs> yeah, I would never have HP sauce on my beans on toast. I'd probably have cheese on it though. Yeah. HP sauce. <laughs> but we would never call that HP sauce. We brown call that brown sauce. sauce. Brown sauce. Yeah. Why why brown sauce? Like what? Well, because it's brown. <laughs> well yeah, I know that. I just mean like that's that's what it's called? Brown sauce? Oh, it's very creative. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Why is it so thick? Is it actually? Yeah, yeah this is chunky. I'll try the same time again? Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay, that's, that's, enough, enough. that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. He went wow, for a that's big, a, that's a, a big, big bite. Pint Livingston. That's a, a He's healthy it. portion. It's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> it still has the horrible texture. Okay. But then now it's just like sour. Like this sauce doesn't belong on this. Is it better? No. <laughs> I mean, to me, it tastes the same. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Does it taste better than it looks? It looks so subjective, okay. and so is taste. And okay. I don't think this is something I'd want to be subjected to. So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that good. Wow, that's good. pretty oh, damning. They are so next up, we this. have cheese on toast. This oh. is tasty. Oh. This is good. Bruh, this is just grilled cheese. Grilled cheese, yeah, basically. Right. Grilled oh, cheese. this actually yeah. looks good. Nobody 
It's grilled cheese. It's grilled cheese. I like this. This is normal. Please yeah, don't put it, nothing else on it. Okay, well, <laughs> oh, in I England. Oh, we do put something else on it. I'm telling Branston you, it's good. Pickle. It is good. <clears throat> What's this? <laughs> pickles? Pickles. Pickles. <laughs> I love pickles. I don't like pickles, but I try it. Pickles. <laughs> so, what you guys might call pickle, we'd call gherkins. Gherkins. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I want to eat something called gherkin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. No, for me. No. <laughs> try it. Come on, try it. <laughs> it's quite strong, so you probably don't yeah, want much that, more than that. That's about right. I usually go for the, um, you can get two types. It's the same, but I get the small chunk. This is the big chunk. The small chunk is like they cut this into like four pieces, each cube. It's more spreadable. So you want to spread it across the cheese. There's no spreading this, it's cubes. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm telling you it's good. It is good. It is good. For that much. <laughs> I don't like that. Like, <laughs> mm -mm. they are Although, not feeling no, this. You want a bit more? more. more. No, I'm a he likes it. To scrape oh, it. no, he's getting it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were adding more. This is you why you need the small chunk. It's too big. This is why I don't like pickles. Okay. <laughs> I like this. Yeah? It's good. Yeah. It doesn't taste that bad. Yeah. It tastes good. I actually like this one. Yeah? Yeah. You I'll see? This. Okay. You see, she initially said, oh, it's not for me. She tried it and now she likes it. She liked that. Do, do they sell this here? Like, do, where do you find it? I don't think so. I don't think so. You can probably have that jar when we're done with it. Today. I can take it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. But do you, do you really like that? I actually like that. You're a big fan. It's good. I really like that. Okay. This is classic. As it says on the on the jar, since 1922. Yeah, I'm it's sure it's been fermented since 1922. <laughs> <laughs> it's very dark. It's not my second choice, third choice, not even 10. <laughs> like, it's a choice. We are trying. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing is something that does split opinions in the UK. Yeah. I love it. Ollie hates it. Oh, no, I know what it is. A British essential. Yeah, it's this marmite. one is a. Uh, either like it or hate it, man. What's that? What is that? Marmite. Uh, Sounds like a bug. Yeah. Oh. It's like a yeast. It's the uh, like kind of like fermented yeast. It's, it's quite savory. How can I describe it? Uh. Where you thinking termite? <laughs> that does sound like a bug. Have you ever seen this before? Yeah. Oh, oh have you tried it? No. Oh, oh no. I've seen this on YouTube before. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's yeast. Yeast is yeast. extract. Yeast. Yeast? <laughs> yeast? That's the infection thing. It literally no, 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 no. It says no, no, yeast no, no. extract. Eli, why would you say that? You mad. <laughs> <laughs> Eli. Oh, <laughs> the visual that just came into my head. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Wow. okay. Give it a smell first and let us know what's going through your head. Whoa. <laughs> I don't even know what, like, what to even say that smell was. It, was... it smells like poison. <laughs> oh, poison? I mean, yeast. Oh. <laughs> it's very thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've got a scoop. No, yeah, I, I see people like eat it with um, spoons and they like vomit or something. So I'm guessing it's, it tastes really oh, strong. Right. Is that what you've seen on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, I would not recommend putting a spoon in there and eating it. As you can tell, we spread it quite thinly with butter mm. on bread. So it is very strong, I'm guessing. It's a strong taste. Give it a go. Try it, man. It's actually really good. It's like a savory thing. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. That's strong. <laughs> You're. This is thinly. Yeah, that's very thinly. Yeah, thinly spread. Yeah. Bro, that's burning my tongue. Oh come on! Oh burning no! Y'all got water? <laughs> I think she's about to cry. Oh, come on. <laughs> Come on.
<laughs> I'm so salty. I don't like that. It's disgusting. <laughs> I've never had anything that extravagant. <laughs> That's one way to put it. The thing they say in the UK is you either love it or you hate it. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> I'm a part of the second group. It's like I got it stuck in my tooth and I can't get it off. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't know why. It's just it's actually pretty good. We found a mom like that. At least yes. one. Good man. Okay. At least one. No. <laughs> no? Oh, okay. No. There you go. I don't know why you're hating it. It's actually pretty good. You don't need this in your life. Okay. <laughs> but I want it in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's been a little introduction to some classic British foods. What's your verdict overall? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, okay. it's not something I would typically think like, oh, let me put this on toast, but uh -huh. there's no food images every day, so. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, in England, yeah. there really isn't new no. food inventions we, every we day. We've been eating this for hundreds of years. Yeah, we and... stopped inventing stuff about 300 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think it's overhated. Overhated. Okay. Hey. Not overrated. It's Actually, overhated. no, that one is properly hated, but the last one. Okay. That one's properly <laughs> hated. Over, I don't think it's too horrible. It's just not the greatest. Okay. okay. That was a very too nice horrible. way of putting it. Very it's encouraging. Horrible, yeah. it's not Has your impression horrible. of British food changed at all? I didn't really know what to think. But after I saw those big beans and the toast, I thought you were crazy. Okay. And when I saw this, it looked crazy. I like this a lot better than the big beans and the toast. Okay. But and we just straight out just did not like that yeah, one yeah, yeah. at all. That together. was no, bad. No, no, no fixing that. There's no fixing that. But why do you guys eat this? Like, how do y'all eat that? Yeah. Why do you eat it? Oh my. God. Some of their reactions were genuinely hilarious. I do think that um, uh, they they should have got the small chunk pickle then I think it would have been universally liked because the, the thick chunk one, it's just too much pickle. It's too much pickle. Um, the Marmite one, I thought maybe a couple more would like the taste, but at least there was one. The beans on toast, it was just too much beans. It was too much beans. They should have put like half of the beans and they should have toasted the toast a bit more so it was more crunchy. So then you had a bit more contrast of the soft tomato-y, flavor of the beans with the toast. But yeah, to be honest, the reaction, it was to be expected. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.